So friends, welcome to part nine. In last part, I gave you an assignment, right? And I hope you gave your due diligence to create a script. Here I will be discussing solution to the assignment. So walk with me. Okay, so this was the assignment which we discussed, and as part of this assignment, you were supposed to create complete booking flow for new tools demo dot site, and then you have to uh, verify your response for each request, and then finally, once you're confident, you have to run this five unique this script with five unique users. What I forgot to mention, but I have also written here, is that you have to define weightage according for task according to this uh, value defined in this assignment okay so let's move to solution okay so this is complete solution here and uh, i'll be discussing elements of the solution and this is also available on github so you can cross check your script and in case you have done something differently and it works do let me know through comment section okay so what we have done we have to create uh, we have to import http locals task set and task and then we have to create two classes okay user behavior and user right so this is all standard now what i specifically mentioned is that i you have to create a login task login in on start so so user will be doing login only once and uh, you can verify your response through res1.txt and this is a post request and here i'm passing data okay this, so the next request was uh, so the next request was find flight right once user logs in the user is on find flight page and the user has to send post request and it has to give some form data one don't worry i'll come to data part later so we have to pass some data which we indicated uh, in chrome developer tool and this is from data one and uh, uh, anyways i have defined these form datas over here in the top so that i don't my script don't look messy it's all uh, looking clean then once I have sent the request. I can print response to dot text and verify if I'm uh, able to receive expected response. Okay. So the other is select flight. So once the user has done find flight, the uh, user will do select flight task. And um, again, these are weightages which I have provided as per assignment. Okay. And uh, in select flight. Again, I am doing post and sending data. And there is finally book flight where I am sending post and data. So this is a script and let's have a closer look at data section. So I have defined these as form data. And um, if you see what we noticed in our request, Chrome developer request is this data, right? And in our data, which we have to pass in dictionary format, we have to replace each key with uh, quotes and we have to put all these items all these things in quotes key and attribute in quotes and uh, I know it is really tedious if you go do it one by one and it is really error prone as well and of course time taking so what I did is I went to this site okay and I did copy paste of my data over here all right Okay, so this is a very nice site and you can search uh, Python, uh, select Python over here and uh, you can, uh, because our uh, data has some kind of pattern, so I thought let's replace this, uh, let's take the help of regular expression and uh, don't be scared for that. So what all, what I did over here is I found a pattern, so W plus search for as it says matches any word character okay so these are my word character and this is ma matching within data this word character okay all i have to do now is i have to replace these occurrences with uh, substitute it with quotes right value and within quotes right so what i did i did uh, selected substitution over here and if I go to quick reference over here and uh, substitution, I took help of this part. 
complete match content okay so this is group 0 so we have only one group and this is group G0 so if I do this okay so this is uh, same as the one above and all I have to do is put my value in codes so I replaced it here so this might not exactly match with what you're looking for because this is not the exact pattern but this is the simplest one rest you can do by yourself so what I did I have something so I have achieved almost my 80% task over here but it has also introduced some extra codes which I can go and replace in my script or somewhere in notepad so this will reduce effort humongously and of course you will not run into error with this and then I define this as form data okay and uh, you can always select this and you can always do reformat code so that you don't get indentation issues okay so what I finally did right because we have to run script with five users as well I did what we learned in our series I define username and password in a list okay and uh, then I passed it in my on start section okay and this on start section also has login oh sorry it's not picking up here so we have to just replace it with the self dot username right and self dot password okay and then we have to run our script now to run our script and to create some log file we have to give log file option and this time I'll give four okay so I'm running this script here and this should give access to locust web monitor interface so I'll go and open my web monitor and I want to run the script with five user with hash rate one and I'll wait for my statistics in the meantime I can also open my log file <coughs> okay so I'll wait for response to come over here okay so data has come over here and data has also come on this locust interface I'll just verify my logs so I will look for some keywords like uh, find flight so it is there okay so this is not an absolute verification but just a very high level uh, verification if my script is working fine or not select your departure then I'll give uh, what else was there yeah um, booked word okay so it is not exactly this book. Uh, let me look for thank. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for choosing. Okay. So this is this shows that I am receiving um, expected response in my script. So there are different different ways to verify and debug a script. But for now, let's stay with this. So that was the solution. In case you have any doubts about it, do ask me through comment section. And do not forget to like and share this video. Thank you.